Migrants from Venezuela are now being sheltered at a Massachusetts military base. More details on the political battle of immigration and the humanitarian response. Plus, a Milwaukee County woman learns her fate after being charged for her role in the baby Teresa case. And how a southwest Wisconsin community is offering affordable housing for people who work in agriculture. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. So he made a huge impact on a lot of people, and I just wish he would have known that. Um, but we, we are honored to help as much as we can. Help for people struggling in Saw County. Help, which started with two women, but is now growing. That woman, Jess Martin, lost her son to suicide this summer. She and a friend are now partnering with the local school district to expand their Be Kind campaign that we first told you about in August. Our Tahalil Mondeen explains. Good friends Jess Martin and Missy Kubli say they're just a couple of moms trying. I would love to save every kid in this community if I could, if I yep. could give everybody my number. Yep. I, I would do that. After Jess lost her 16-year-old son Sawyer to suicide almost two months ago, the pair have been on a mission to bring attention to the issue of mental health. It felt like the whole entire community behind us and the whole entire community wanting to do something. Jess's simple but powerful words, be kind, quickly spread through the businesses, schools, and homes across Sauk City and Prairie du Sac. Last month, they began partnering with the area school district to take their efforts to the next level. The mom's biggest concern, bullying. It can be a lot more subtle. One of the parents with whom I've met has just talked about it. It's like, it's like a, a pile of rocks, a pile of small pebbles. It keeps being put in the hands of some of these kids with small comments one after another. And at some point, you just can't hold the rocks anymore and things fall apart. Stock Prairie Superintendent Jeff Wright has been working with the two moms for about a month now. Since then, the district has worked to ensure parents know how to access their bullying and harassment system, launched mental health first aid classes, and approved a new online service to connect users with mental health and substance abuse care faster. It is something that I know everyone is talking about. I'm hoping that we're providing tools as a district to keep this conversation from being a conversation into being something of action. Action thanks to two women deciding to try and honor a boy who will be missed, but not soon forgotten. Our family felt um, very honored to that, that, um, that Sawyer's life meant that much to people. Ooh. In Salt County, Tehlil Mahdeen, News 3 Now. The district plans to keep working with the two mothers for the next few months, and together they also set up a scholarship fund in Sawyer's name that will be available to students in 2024, the same year that he would have been a senior. Well, what does the weekend forecast have in store? Meteorologist Chris Reese is out on the weather patio with the latest. Chris. Hey, we're tracking more rain chances yet again going into the weekend, but it's still going to be a good weekend overall. I'm not expecting a washout. And this evening, the Friday going into the weekend is spectacular. Plenty of sunshine right now and temperatures that are still comfortably sitting right around 80. By the way, our average high this time of the year now right around 72 degrees. So we've still been hanging out well above average at this point. You're Winds are out of the south of 13 miles per hour. That keeps you warmer. We're going to drop to about 70 by the time we get you towards 9 o'clock. So over the next four hours, look for temperatures to fall about 10 degrees. We'll hang out into the low 70s and upper 60s as some cloud cover starts to move in. Once that moves in, your temperature is not going to be able to fall all that much. That cloud cover will be brought to us by the rain chances that you do see on radar. It's this system back towards the west that will be coming our way. So enjoy the dry weather while we do have it. High resolution radar is quiet for us in southern Wisconsin. We are going to time out those rain chances coming up. I've also got your final drive forecast plus the Badger forecast in just a bit. All right, Chris, lots going on. We'll see you then. Thank you. Classes at Monona Grove High School were canceled today after the sudden death of a teacher. Charles Ping lived in Monona with his wife and three children. In an email to parents, the district said he collapsed while coaching a tennis match last night. Ping was also an art teacher and supervisor for the school's enemy and Asian clubs. 
The school is still open today to offer support and counseling to students and staff. In an email to parents, the school's principal, Mitch McGrath, said in part, quote, this is an extremely, incredibly difficult time for students and staff, and it's important for the school community to pull together and support one another. Students are organizing a pink out for ping night at tonight's home football game. The Madison community continues to work together and offer support to three young children whose parents died in a murder-suicide. A GoFundMe page was set up earlier this week by friends and neighbors of Jessica and Jason Ray. It initially had a goal of $10,000 to help pay for funeral costs and support the children. But more than $100,000 has been donated. If you'd like to help, look for this story on our homepage at channel3000.com. A Milwaukee woman has been sentenced for concealing the death of an infant in the baby Teresa case more than a decade ago. 46-year-old Karen Lutonen was sentenced to six months in jail and three years probation. She was charged with concealing the death of a child. The body of the newborn was found in the woods in the town of Teresa back in 2009. Investigators were eventually able to use DNA tests Testing to determine that Lutonin was the baby's mother. A competency hearing has been ordered for a woman accused of being the mastermind behind a kidnapping and murder. 38-year-old Laura Marie Angela Johnson is one of three people charged in the kidnapping and death of a person back in June. Prosecutors say the three pulled the victim into his own car in Dane County before driving to a rural area in Columbia County. The kidnapping allegedly started with with an argument over money. New at five, the city of Portage plans to take down a walkway over a canal in the coming months, but people who rely on it are pushing back, hoping to stop the plan and find another way. The bridge connects the Riverwood Apartments to downtown. The city says it's deteriorating and becoming a safety issue, but people we talked with today, many of them elderly, consider the bridge their lifeline to the library and downtown businesses. I feel safe. We're not the only ones that use this bridge. A lot of the community does use this bridge. And if they tear it down, I mean, the elderly are the ones that's going to be, you know, missing out a lot. A new bridge opened within sight of the old one in 2020, but people who use wheelchairs or walkers say it's too steep and has metal grooves that catch. Coming up tonight at 6, Portage's mayor explains why the removal plans are on hold for now. In the escalating feud over migrants flown to Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, they went to a military base today to shelter the 50 Venezuelans. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sent them on a flight from Texas to Massachusetts. Mike Valer Valerio says that attorneys are now asking the Justice Department to investigate the entire ordeal. Cheers this morning on Martha's Vineyard. Moments before migrants headed on buses and then a ferry to a Cape Cod military base, all for humanitarian support and shelter. But I hope that for all of them, that in all of their travels that they've had right now, that these three days... I hope they feel exceptionally loved. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis flew the asylum seekers from Texas to Martha's Vineyard, saying, quote, every community in America should be sharing in the burden, end quote. There's also going to be buses, and there will likely be more flights. But I'll tell you this, uh, the legislature gave me $12 million. We're going to spend every penny of that to make sure that we're protecting the people of the state of Florida. But President Biden accused DeSantis and others of playing politics with human beings. Instead of working with us on solutions, Republicans are playing politics with human beings, using them as props. What they're doing is simply wrong. It's un-American. It's reckless. The U.S. attorney for Massachusetts says she'll speak with the Justice Department about DeSantis's move. White House officials are also meeting Friday to discuss potential legal options as the families who have come so far continue their journeys. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. 
Well, so far, Texas and Arizona have sent around 13,000 migrants to D.C., New York, and Chicago. The operation has cost Texas taxpayers over $12 million. In Arizona, more than $4 million. Florida has not provided total costs. A semi-retired judge from New York has been appointed to serve as a special master who will review documents seized from former President Trump's Florida home. U.S. District Judge Raymond Deary will have until November 30th to look through more than 11,000 records. The court order says the judge should prioritize the documents marked as classified. The Department of Justice is still fighting the court's decision to block its access to the documents pending the review, claiming it's put its investigation on hold. A, judge, a judge's order says Trump will have to pay the entire cost for Judge Deary since it was his request to appoint the special master. We're getting new details about the scope of the Justice Department's investigation into efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The information came to light in a subpoena to search the phone of my pillow salesman and Trump ally Mike Lindell. The documents show the Department of Justice is investigating the breach of a Colorado County voting system. The department wants all records and information on Lindell's phone that could be evidence against seven people who might be involved in the scheme. Lindell has not been charged with crimes or wrongdoing. For the first time, President Biden met in person with the families of two Americans imprisoned in Russia. WNBA star Brittany Griner was arrested on drug charges in Russia in the Russian airport in February. She was later sentenced to nine years in a penal colony after pleading guilty. Security executive Paul Whelan was detained back in 2018 and later convicted of spying. He says he's innocent. President Biden told their families returning them to the U.S. is a top of mind and negotiations with Russia are ongoing. Well, Chris has the latest forecast next to five. Plus how a Lafayette County community is creating affordable housing for area farmers. We'll have details on that when we return. Later, the oldest food festival in the Midwest makes its triumphant return. All you need to know about cheese days. That's coming up tonight at six. And here's a look at stocks. The Dow Industrials closed down 139 points. The NASDAQ off 103. The S&P 500 down 28. And we'll be right back. Ashley's Fall Scratch-Off promotion is happening now. Come in now for your scratch card that could be worth up to $5,000. Plus, get 78% off clearance items. Plus, 60-month special financing. Plus, doorbuster deals. Plus, fast delivery. Don't miss these savings. Ashley. I am crushing this to-do list. Let me see. Smart home upgrade? Mm -hmm. Home gym? Check. Well, what about the windows? Uh. Cross something important off your list. With energy-efficient windows for just $129 a month, now is the perfect time to get your home ready for fall. And keep some cash in your pocket. Windows for $129 a month and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feltco. Hey, we're here at the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, hand-picked local Medicare? What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? Your local Medicare plans have all of the bells and whistles the national TV has promised. Only better, because you're working with local agents who know the doctors, specialists, and the hospital networks inside and out. You're not going to get that talking to a national call center wanting to check your zip code. Don't be fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to your Medicare options, keep it local. With Informed Choice Insurance Agency, and their services are free always have loved kids like having a daycare extending our family having another kid and just kind of made sense to do more improvements and add along the way having that availability to put back into our home from the home equity basically saved us got a you know privacy fence that's provides safety for our kids and the daycare kids and yep. i don't gotta put the dog on the leash anymore it's a nice feeling letting my daycare just get out and just Play. run free and that there is just another example that the tackle party union has had our back Joe Biden on Medicare for All. It's going to raise taxes on middle class people. Medicare for All would double your income taxes, ban employer provided and union health plans, and bankrupt Medicare for seniors. Mandela Barnes still supports Bernie Sanders' socialist takeover of your health care. Medicare for All is the easiest way to get us to universal health care. Mandela Barnes, more liberal than Joe Biden, way too liberal for Wisconsin. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message.
It's Furniture and Appliance Mart scratch-off promotion. Come in for your scratch card worth up to $5,000. Plus, buy any LG washer and get the dryer free. Plus, 60-month special financing. Plus, fast delivery at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley off the Beltline and East Springs Drive. It's the first of its kind. Darlington is getting affordable housing for farmers. We'll tell you about the goals of the project. And the governor of Florida is in Green Bay. We look into the reason for his visit tonight at 6. It all comes down to the final drive. News 3 Now brings you the big play highlights and scores from Southern Wisconsin high school football action. Don't miss the final drive. Fridays on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Well, efforts to ban books in the U.S. are on track to break a new record. The American Library Association says it has logged 681 attempts to challenge library resources targeting more than 1,600 books at schools, universities, and public libraries so far this year. Books that tell stories related to race, gender, and sexual identity have been the most frequently challenged. The group tracked 729 book challenges in 2021. That was the highest number of attempted book bans on record. ADHA, ADHD patients could soon have trouble filling their prescriptions. Bloomberg reports pharmacy chains like CVS and Walgreens are having difficulty keeping Adderall in stock at locations all across the country. Walgreens says supply chain challenges are affecting its supply of both instant release and extended release Adderall. But pharmacies has also seen a spike in demand as diagnoses of mental health disorders increased during the pandemic. A small town in southwest Wisconsin is making some history. History. It will soon offer affordable housing units specifically for those working in agriculture, the first of their kind in the area. Catherine Merck reports from Darlington. Here in Darlington, affordable housing is on the way for those in this community who may need it most. The unique part about this project is that it is specifically targeted and set aside for individuals and families that are working in the agricultural industry. Nicole Solheim is the vice president of development for Sinair, the nonprofit that's behind the project. It got involved about four years ago after the Southwest Wisconsin Community Action Program had already acknowledged the need for quality housing. This is an area where Nicole says more than half of the people work in agribusiness and farming jobs. It's a key part of our state's economy, making this development all the more important. As a nonprofit, again, we believe that everyone has the right to access for a healthy living. An event is planned to celebrate the opening of the housing here in October. Reporting from Darlington, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. Let's get a look now at your certified most accurate weather. Here's meteorologist Chris Reese with the forecast. Chris? We're talking about rain chances that are going to be on the increase into the weekend, but as I've been reassuring you all week, this is not the same type of rain that we saw last weekend. That being said, some showers and thunderstorms do exist across northeastern parts of the state. That's mainly Eau Claire up to Wausau, back towards the Twin Cities, south towards Rochester. Most of that rain will miss us tonight. But we are going to see our own chance of showers and thunderstorms really starting to build in, particularly as we move towards tomorrow night and into Sunday. So high resolution radar continues to give us the clean sweep, at least right now. Here's your final drive forecast, by the way. Your game is Lodi versus Edgewood. We're going to be staying pleasant for that game. Some clouds moving in. No rain expected. 75 by 730, 70 by the time we get you towards 10 o'clock overnight tonight. That being said, let's go ahead and really show you how things may play out hour by hour. This is overnight tonight, 3.30 intentionally. We might see some spotty showers, but the time is 3.30 in the morning. Most of you are asleep during that time frame. You might be waking up tomorrow. I can't rule out a stray shower or two when you are waking up tomorrow morning, but most areas will be dry. 3 o'clock, this is 30 minutes after Badger kickoff. Generally, we're dry, a mix of sun and clouds. Again, I cannot rule out that pop-up shower or two, but your better chance are some showers and thunderstorms. That arrives during the overnight hours. 7 o'clock, dinner time, still in the mid-70s. A little cloudy at this point, but now we're at 2 o'clock in the morning, and this is where you start to see the bigger chance for those showers and thunderstorms moving into the mix. So that being said, let me show you the wider view of how this all plays out. Look at how spotty these showers are tomorrow in the morning. It's not a big deal at all. We'll top out around 80, but now we get towards 
1 o'clock in the morning tomorrow night, and now you see the better chance for that rain starting to move in. And that'll clear out of here really before even a lot of us wake up on Sunday. Your Sunday is not too shabby either. You look at rainfall amounts, and they are relatively light. We're talking a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch. Anyone who's able to get a repeat thunderstorm or two, you might be able to squeeze out about half an inch of rainfall. So light rain overall compared to the four months worth of rain that some of us got last weekend. Tonight, we generally do stay dry. Overnight lows are gonna be falling into the 60s with the cloud cover, depending on how fast that moves in, that's how far you're gonna make it into the 60s. So the cloud cover moves in a little bit faster to the west, and that is where you have your upper 60s, lower 60s, a little bit farther to the east. Tomorrow, a peak of sun early will help us make it towards 80, but look at the 70s to the west where that cloud cover really continues to move on in and then you start to see the extended forecast with the rain chances perhaps Monday and Tuesday could see some spotty showers as well we're cooler by next weekend your afternoon high by next Saturday could struggle out of the 50s and that's with sunshine and then reality <laughs> set in right thank you <laughs> thank you Chris today women united hosted their annual brunch in honor of Karen Timberlake Timberlake the secretary designee of the Wisconsin Department of Health Services was awarded the women united philanthropy award she is a longtime volunteer of the organization women united is a branch of United Way and champions education across communities by bringing together families teachers and nonprofits. And we know that when we come together and that power of many working for all, we can actually achieve that systemic change, that long-term change that doesn't just help right now, that impacts families for generations. Today's event benefited Schools of Hope, which aims to improve academic achievement of students through tutoring and individual support. The Madison Mallards are done for the season, but they're hoping to start a new annual tradition for the community. We'll have more on tomorrow's Northside Festival when we come back. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe these guys will buy our house. What could go wrong? Like rookie home buyers who can lower or cancel offers without notice. We Buy Ugly Houses won't reduce or cancel our firm cash offers before closing. Call or click to sell quick. Look, we knew the other side would make up lies about me to scare you. Now they're claiming I want to defund the police and abolish ICE. That's a lie. I'll make sure our police have the resources and training they need to keep our community safe. And that our communities have the resources to stop crime before it happens. I'll bring back manufacturing. And I'll pass a middle-class tax cut. And if that's too scary for Washington, then so be it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Raising healthy children takes a village, and kids thrive when their village is healthy too. SSM Health and News 3 Now are helping you unlock a healthier world with our Time for Kids Keys to Health campaign. We'll show you how sustainable choices create healthier lifestyles, explore the impacts of food security on families, and share ways we can help build a healthy community together. So join us on air, online, and in your village. And take time for kids. Choosing a treatment for your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, can be overwhelming. So ask your doctor about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start. It's the number one prescribed branded chronic migraine treatment. So far, more than 5 million Botox treatments have been given to over 850,000 chronic migraine patients. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away, as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they'd talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. Do you feel safe? 
Mandela Barnes would eliminate cash bail, setting accused criminals free into the community before trial, even with shootings, robberies, carjackings, violent attacks on our police, more than 300 murders last year alone. Yet Barnes has even supported defunding the police. Mandela Barnes, he stands with them, not us. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe she could sell her house. What could go wrong? Like listing your house, then dealing with all the trouble, expense, not to mention closing costs. We Buy Ugly Houses can buy your house fast for all cash as is with no hassle. Call or click to sell quick. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. for the Madison Mallards, but they're still working to bring the community together. This weekend, the Duck Pond at Warner Park will be hosting the first ever Northside Festival. The event runs from 1 to 7 tomorrow and includes fun for all ages. There'll be live music, food trucks, and vendors, plus a showing of Sonic the Hedgehog for the kids. Feel free to bring a football or something like that if you want to throw it around in the outfield and, and take advantage of the beautiful space that we have here. Um, it'll be a very laid back uh, event um, and hopefully a lot of fun. Organizers hope to make the festival an annual event. Admission is free and you'll be able to head right onto the ballpark's outfield. So don't forget lawn chairs or a blanket. A final check of your first Warren forecast when we come back. a great deal on furniture? Well, this is it. Slumberland Furniture has savings up to 50% off list prices, or in some cases, even more. At our Labor Day sale on now. Shop our big selection of sectionals, sofas, recliners, dining, and bedrooms. And shop the deals that are up to 50% off. Mattresses, too, with some up to 50% off. Don't forget, mattress shopping is uncomplicated and fast. Only at Slumberland. Come see how. Shop the huge Labor Day sale on now. Menards has the products you need to keep your home fresh and clean. Improve the air quality of your home with DuPont Air Filters. They reduce up to 75% of larger airborne particles in your home. Just $4.35 each after 11% off. The Libman Tornado Spin Mop System is an all-in-one system that features a spinning handle for easy ringing and chamber work that removes water and dirt efficiently from the mop head. Just $34.68 after 11% off. At Prudential, we can't tell you when your kids will finally go out on their own. But we can at least make sure that when they do, you're ready. That's why millions rely on us for the rock-solid strength that helps you plan for and achieve your retirement dreams. Whichever road you take, who's your rock? Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. I've always loved building things, not just structures and skyscrapers, but teams who make it all possible. After all, we wouldn't be where we are today without them. So we made sure that like these buildings, their futures may also stand the test of time. I will make up lies about me to scare you. Now they're claiming I want to defund the police and abolish ICE. That's a lie. I'll make sure our police have the resources and training they need to keep our community safe. And that our communities have the resources to stop crime before it happens. I'll bring back manufacturing. And I'll pass a middle class tax cut. And if that's too scary for Washington, then so be it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. On this Friday night, 
Tropical storm Fiona takes aim at Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as forecasters warn of life-threatening floods. Plus, our Deborah Pata is in a recently liberated area of Ukraine where the Russian military left behind the horrors of war. And we go on the road with a heartwarming story about the power of a mother's love. That's all tonight right here on the CBS Evening News. Finally at five, take a look at this video. This funnel cloud was spotted at Epcot at Florida's Disney World theme park. Thanks for the National Weather Service says the cloud never touched down, but it still made for some very scary moments for park goers. I'll tell you that Disney makes everything realistic, don't they? <laughs> that, that's the real deal, right, Chris? <laughs> that, that's the real deal right there. It wouldn't have made things scary for me. I would have been all over oh, that. Yeah, you would have. <laughs> oh my gosh, get the camera out. I'm not tall enough for that ride. <laughs> That's, it would be quite the ride. Thankfully for us, I'm not anticipating any severe weather with our thunderstorm chance this weekend. We'll see some storms being possible on Saturday, but your better storm chance is going to be Saturday night, early Sunday morning. All right, Chris, thank you, and thanks for your help tonight, You're Mark. You're welcome. Have a great night, everybody. Hope to see you back here for News 3 at 6.